Hi guys, I'm here with my friend Thea, who is a social media leader here at Hallmark, and she's here to show us how to take this ordinary pumpkin and turn it to this amazing and beautiful ombre glitter pumpkin. So Thea, tell me how you get started. Yeah, so the first thing you'll want to do is pick out your pumpkin. Um, I really like using real pumpkins because it allows for different sizes and different textures, so that way you don't have a lot of, you know, constant same size of the foam pumpkins. I get a clear spray paint. Um, this is just a pr protective gloss finish and just spray the entire pumpkin. So it kind of acts like a base nail polish. You know, you wouldn't want to put that red paint right on your nails. You don't want to really permeate your pumpkin with those um, spray paints right away. Walk us through how you created this ombre effect. Um, I painted the entire pumpkin with this champagne silver color. And I really like getting these champagne silvers because it really shows the blend of the ombre really well. So what you're gonna do is- So you did the whole thing in that mm -hmm. silver. Okay, yes. so the whole coat. So except for the top, because okay. when you turn your pumpkin around, you don't wanna get your hand all painted. Um, so I sprayed the whole thing. And a really good tip that I learned is to make sure that you're um, using horizontal sprays that are really okay. short. Um, so that way it dries faster, it's you know a lot more even, and then you don't get those run marks that you'll see a lot of um, spray painted pumpkins can get. So once the whole thing is silver, um, I then grabbed this bronze color and then painted about the bottom third of it. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Yeah, so the last layer, it's the same way. You just take your gold color and do you know short sprays. I try to stay about probably six to seven inches away. Um, and then at the very end, you're gonna wanna really douse this handle. Um, it looks really cool. It kind of looks like it was touched by Midas. Um, so make sure that you, you spray that as well, but not until after you're sure that you don't have to move it because then it's Sticky. a messy situation. <laughs> So my favorite part, the glitter. I can't wait. Okay, how do we start? <laughs> um, so you're gonna take one of these sponge brushes. I like these a lot because again, they're, they're really, cheap. They're really cheap. Um, and they last for a long time. So dip that in this Mod Podge. Okay. And then you're going to basically just do like lines. So sponge it, it doesn't have to be super thick. The good thing is that this Mod Podge dries clear. But you wanna have some that go down further than others so that you do get that ombre effect. We've got the Mod Podge on, now for the glitter. Yes, my favorite part. So I'm gonna start with this gold glitter. Um, it really reflects the gold that you've already spray painted around and it's gonna go down the longest. Um, so I just have a plastic spoon, some glitter, okay. um, and don't take a huge heaping spoonful. Oh. <laughs> take maybe a, a more of a shallow one so that way you're not wasting too much if it falls off. And then you just sprinkle it on. So I have to admit when I saw this idea, which you can find on our Think Make Share blog, we'll have the link below, it looked much harder than actually what this is. It's a mirage, an ombre mirage. So the second color is this nice sand color. It's kind of champagne-y. Um, you can also use a silver or, you any, know. Any metallic, really. Any color that you want to use that day. Um, so this time, when you're sponging, make sure that it doesn't go down quite as far as it did last time so that okay. you really get that ombre effect. So you're going right over the top of where this gold yep. already was. And if the glitter gets mixed into the glue, like it's not a big like it deal. Is. Yeah, it's totally okay. fine. I usually just sponge off a little bit and then keep doing it. Okay, so now the champagne glitter. Yeah. This is really, really pretty. Okay, so color two's down, ready for three. Yeah, so the third one, I'm using a copperish color in this nice. one. See this? Yeah, it's really nice. You can also use an orange or black or even, um, I've seen like some pink and white ones that are really pretty. Um, but you're gonna dab in your Mod Podge again, just around the top. Um, and then just remember too that you wanna use that same kind of streaking action so that you can get the ombre effect. Okay, so last color, here we go with copper. I think the black would be pretty too. Yeah. Thea, this looks really, really beautiful. Are we done here or is there more? Yeah, I would just let it dry overnight um, and then take it outside, kind of shake it off a little bit and then you have your You're good glamorous to go. pumpkin. Yeah. Thanks so much Thea for coming by and of showing course. us how to make this beautiful ombre glitter pumpkin. If you like this idea, please like, share, and subscribe, and check us out next time. And this looks amazing. Talk about the glittery spiders. Okay.